Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about squeeze casting process. So let us start with the, some of the introduction. So in case of the squeeze castings or you can say squeeze forming or you can say liquid metal forging is a combination of the castings and forging process. So you can say that will be utilization of a two kind of technology for making a components. So let us start with the various steps for making a squeeze casting process. So this is our step number one, melt the metal. So just you can see this is our mold cavity as per my requirement of the shape and size and this is our ejector pin. So basically ejector pin that will be used after the solidification process. And just you can see this is our dye materials. So first step that will be involving with melt the metals. Then second step pouring the molten form of the metals into the dye. So just you can see with the help of this that will be pouring the molten form of the metal. Then third step close the die and apply the pressure. So that will be similar kind of arrangement just you can applying the forging. So with the application of that particular force or you can say pressure with the help of die towards the molten form of the metal which will be filled into a mold cavity. So this is our material and with the application of pressure it will be applying the pressure. Then on to the last steps after the solidification process just eject the squeeze castings, charge metal stocks and repeat the cycles or you can say in simple way after removing the pressure with the help of die just you can see with the help of ejector pin you will get a finished casting process. So basically into this squeeze casting process or you can say squeeze forming or you can say forging process. So that are used to know as a combination of the all that processes. So basically just you can see the various steps that will be involving. So this is our KVT, this white color. This is our bottom die and this one is our top die or you can say punch. So as from my shape and size of our job, I would like to make a bottom die as well as the top punch die and in between it will be my required shape and size or you can say KVT and at the end just you can see this is our ejector pin or you can say lift pin. So after the solidification process that will be used to ejecting the components. So just you can see the process makes use of the two dies bottom die and top die cast and machine in such a way that upon the matting leaves a cavity similar to the shape of the desired castings. So this is our simple shape right now but if you want to make a complex geometry so you will also made. Then in second steps just you can see hit this bottom die and just you can see this is our top die. So what happens? The bottom dies is preheated to around 200 to 250 degrees centigrade with the help of a torch and sprayed by a water based graphite lubricant to facilitate easy removal of the castings after the solidification process. So this preheating that will be essential in some applications for easily removing the components. Then third steps just you can see with the help of ladle you should fill the molten form of the metal into this bottom die and after this as you can see the measured quantity of the molten metal is poured into the bottom die. So as the metal starts solidifying then pressure is applied to the top die causing it to move rapidly towards the bottom die. Then as you can see now this top die it will be used to generating the pressure 
after some solidification process and this metal that will be solidified into that particular cavity. So this causes the molten matter to get squeezed and fill the mold cavity. The squeezing pressure is applied until the solidification is being completed. And last steps. By the removing of the pressure with the help of top of die. This is our solidified castings that will be my required shape and size of the job. And with the help of these ejector pins applying the force. So that will be easily removing of that particular solidified components. So the casting is ejected by the operating lift pin provided into the bottom die. And the die is then made ready for the next cycle. So you should repeat the cycle for the mass productions also. So this is the simple techniques for making a squeeze casting components. So squeeze castings is commonly used for castings, aluminiums, magnesium alloys. Cores can be used in this process to produce holes and recesses if that will be the requirements of my shape and size. Some of the advantages, metals which have poor fluidity characteristics can be cast by this process. Shrinkage and gas porosity will be less due to the applied pressure during the solidification process. Enhanced mechanical properties because of the fine grain structure caused by the rapid solidification process. Good surface finish can be also achieved by squeeze casting process. Some of the disadvantages process is costlier. Manufacturing of the dies to accurate dimensions involves the complex process. So that will be increasing the price of that particular components. Accurate metering of the molten metal is a significant problem because it will be not calculated accurately. So that will be the oversizes or you can say that will be also damage the top die as well as the bottom die. Uneconomical for small quantity productions. So that will be only feasible for a mass production. I hope you understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.